Hello everyone, and welcome to Orange University. On tonight's episode, Azorius Tezzeret. So, do you guys remember Tezzeret? All the way back from the, the, the set that wasn't supposed to get rotated out. Uh, the the Kamigo Neon Destiny the Dynasty. Uh, we have the Tezzeret Betrayer of Flesh, which uh, makes the activated ability of artifacts we control cost two less. Which is great, because we're a uh, shark deck. Shark with all the incubator tokens that are basically free, or one, free every turn. My turn, your turn, every turn. And so uh, the deck is kind of synergized around that. Along with this synergy though, the, the token can also be either bargain or tap for disruption protocol. So we got basically six two mana counter spells with that in mind. Uh, this is the exact same ability. One is uh, tap an artifact, one is sacrifice a bar or bargain an artifact, and then it will cost two, right? So it's kind of the same same thing. But Tezzeret can also help us with the Collector Vault. Collector Vault help us uh, draw a card, discard a card, and create a treasure token. So loot and then treasure. Pretty good in that sense. Then let's see, what else, what else can we do? Well, uh, this whole deck is pretty slow, right? So against Mono Red, how do we fight that? We got four knockout blows. Uh, Three mana to deal four damage to target attacking or blocking creature and gain two life. So even if they have like a monster's roll or something, it's still dead. But but big deal with this is that it costs three. Three isn't that good, but if it's targeting a red creature, it only costs one. So this is a one drop against mono red, but a three drop against all the other decks. That's kind of the idea of the deck. Now, uh, against any other deck, we have one Destroy Evil and two Faithful Absence. Kill Planeswalkers, kill Enchantments, or just kill big creatures. And then, something that I tech in for the deck, Take Up Shield. Take Up Shield, uh, plus a sense counter on target creature, against Lifelink and Indestructible. So, we can protect our Chrome Host Sea Shark that way, against a control deck. But we can also gain life with a against an aggro deck or a temple deck. Uh, and then we have uh, four counter spells in Disruption Protocol, two more counter spells in Ice Out. Of course, we have four Chrome Hole Sea Shark, four Wandering Emperor, four Tezzeret the Betrayer of Flesh, four Sunfall, and one Sayonara, the Farewell of Farewells. So that's the whole deck list. Uh, I kind of brewed this deck. I don't know if it's good or not. I want to find out. And then the land base, 26 lands. We're, we're pretty heavy control deck, so hopefully the lands will work out pretty well because we have one Aganjo, five Hoings, uh, one Otawara, five Islands, Four dar uh, a dark card waste, four deserted beach, four sea chrome calls. A lot of blue white lands, and then two Mirix to get that Mirix token out. Uh, and then uh, 26 lands is okay because we have collectors vault. Hopefully, uh, if we're flooded, we can just start looting the, the lands out and get better cards that way. Kind of the idea of the deck. Uh, the intro is fairly simple. Let's see if the deck play is simple, or am I just going to lose every game? Because... Uh, it's, it's a deck that I try to brew, which means that, you know, it does not have the track record that the net decks I find do. Uh, that a lot of net decks I find are like 1-4, 1-5, so at least I know they can win one game, right? But can my deck win a game? We'll find out. Letty. Oh, we're playing against Measured Flea. So, very blue. Uh, probably Mono Red. Oh, no, we go first. Okay, so they're, they are more controlly than we are. We have four lands, a Sea Shark, a Sunfall, and an Ice Out. I guess I have to keep because of the four lands, but it's not a great hand. You don't really want to mulligan going uh, going first, though. Because you're down a card, and then you'll be down another card, because... Oh, okay, that's a good that's a good opener. Uh, you'll be down another card once you mulligan. Alright, uh, Bant? No, not Bant. Beanstalk. It is Bant? Oh. Will we need to blue? We might need to blue, right? Let's see what happens. So he has a play, but he didn't want to play it. Would it be an instant speed play? Guess we'll find out. Treasure! If we play the shark here, can we still ice out? We gotta sacrifice our collector vault to ice out, right? I don't know. Then the shark just gets killed. I don't, I don't think it's that good. First opponent is already the attracts at that. So... 
they want Wandering Emperors? They don't want a Wandering Emperors. Not yet, anyways. Pick up shields! Alright, uh, I could play this. Right? And I have two mana for a count. Why would you? No. I, w I play this, I have two mana up for a counter spell with a bargain, and then that's it. Still not that great. This is definitely a Beanstalk control deck. do against a Wandering Emperor. Let it out, okay. I'm not overconfident. Got a Leyline Binding for my Emperor? May your blade strike true. My turn. I guess I don't want to miss land drops anyway, so... Leyline Binding, huh? Why does I always want to tap both of my white? But hmm, I don't want to buff the board, do I? Let your play do the talking. Does he just have no place? He's gotta have some play, right? I mean, I know he's holding up Leyline Binding, the Hornlock Whale. Uh, not, not doing anything against a Hornlock Whale. That's fine. Hold up a white. Leyline Binding draws a card. This doesn't get hexproof, right? It's just indestructible. All right, what is he gonna buy? My shark. My shark. I can't afford to counter the Leyline Binding and just die to like a boar wipe, so that's why I did that. good enough. That's kind of the problem, right? This is Ward 2. Take up shield, not against this deck, they don't even have destroyed. Lifelink doesn't do much, so I'll play a land. I might still need to play land drops, but that's probably the last land I need to play. Draws a card. We let it out. There we go. And I will protect my people. You're done. Okay, lay down arms to this. This this control game is gonna be very dry. And I had to hold out this counter spell for a long time. The, the, up the Beanstalk is so good. And I did not draw the removal I have against Up the Beanstalk. The, uh, that two mana card, I forgot what it's called. Destroy Evil. Faithful Absence isn't it, it's the other version. So, I mean, I guess it's fine. I don't need to do this right now. Let's draw a card first. Disruption Protocol. I've got 
Uh, this deck does have a Traxa, right? If they have a Traxa, I think we still die. Pretty harsh. March on my Collector Vault. Okay. We got a lot of value out of it already. Not great, but... It was going to happen at some point, right? The up to Beanstalk is card draw. My Collector Vault is just filtering. And now we don't get to filter anymore, so... Maybe we'll draw something else that gets... Let us filter, like, Tezret later. The people. They don't have anything to Faithful Absence in that deck either. I don't think. It just attracts them. Another Beanstalk! Jesus. Okay. I think we're just gonna lose. To all that value. Too much value. But, with all that value, I don't know if that deck has counterspells. Right? It's just so far removal. Uh... Desiree. Get us some things. He does have counterspell. Well, thank god I have a disruption protocol. Uh, tap and untap artifact. Tap this. Auto pay. Tap this. Draw to discard to. I can practically taste success already. I don't think I need a knockoff blow, so. You're gonna play the whale? Might as well. No, nope. just gonna take the damage. There's that whale. Can I last two turns? That's hard. Horn Lockwell draws three cards. Basically, he has nothing but one whale. I'm gonna play Mirix out. Would he have counter spells in that deck? That is questionable. But I could do it on his turn. There's no reason to do it on my turn other than the fact that he has three lands only right now. Give him a card draw, didn't I? Oh, maybe he'll counter it. Syncope. Counter unless I paid three. Uh, do I? This is just... This is just an attacker, right? Uh, I, I don't want to pay three. Transform! Free transformation. Lay down arms, okay. Ooh, does he have three lay down arms in his hand? That would be pretty annoying. I mean, we're, we're out of draws anyway, so if we don't win here, we just lose. He still has a play. Still has syncopate. GG. Okay. So, yeah, that's... I mean, two up the Beanstalk. We can't fight that kind of uphill battle. Uh, I guess the best play last turn would have been to pay the three mana. That's about it, right? I didn't know his hand was full of counterspells, but... 
basically he was holding up as many counter spells as I was the whole game, and I should have played around that. I thought it was an Atraxa deck, but with the up to Beanstalk, it could be just a syncopate heavy deck. One goes first. Ooh, this is gonna be an aggro deck, and we don't have any creatures or removal. No, not not an insane aggro deck at least. Swamp first. Okay, I'll save you. Underdog. Now we're talking. Now this is a slightly scarier aggro deck that we're gonna have to face. Because uh, it's Golgari Rock. They have Galissa. They get to draw a card with Galissa, huh? And I don't really want that to happen. But, can't stop it. This is not gonna give me the mana. So, they get a free draw. Pretty good for them. Free draw. I hope they play their Shieldred, honestly. Okay, good. Draw a car. Discard a car. Oh man, what do I discard here? This land? No. Yes. Not great. I'm gonna go down to nine. But. Nine is fine. You're bored, please. Thanks for the three three. Another Shieldric. Man, can't stop that. You think he'll attack with the Shieldric though? If I play a Tezzeret, he kinda will have to attack with the Shieldric, right? I just draw a card and go down to five. Ooh, that's scary, huh? If I play a Tezzeret, uh, I play a Tezzeret this way, I will have one extra mana. I'll get a treasure token. These will be tapped, right? Uh, I'll have two mana. Which cannot cast a disruption protocol on whatever he plays. If I don't play a Tezzeret, I can crew this and disruption protocol whatever he plays. Fine. The question is what if he doesn't play anything, right? Oh, he's gonna duress me. Jesus Christ almighty. That is not great. So, what would he discard though? My Emperor? Probably my Emperor, right? So, gotta play in response. I'm holding that nice top decks. Finally, I'm home. My Protocol. I don't know if that's the right card to discard there. Galissa? It's not gonna attack. Yep. Keep watch for intruders. Go down to five. Okay, I can't do the Tezzeret thing, can I? I can make this up. Uh, well, I could. It's pretty strong. I can make that a 4-4. Four, four, right? Um, so that would be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Jeez. Again, life link for just one turn. So that 7-7 seven, seven turns into a... Okay, I kind of have to do it. Power belongs in the hands of those who Actually, no, that's first strike, right? Oh, wait. It's fine. I make this especially... Remember your training. It's not gonna block. Just to gain that nine life. It's gonna 
cut down my token. Can I stop a cut down? I don't think so. I don't have anything to stop a cut down. We can kill both of my planeswalkers that way. No, face. Face! That can't be right. Uh, well, I guess there's that. I forgot Galissa has the third ability. Oh, okay, that's that's not good. That's not good at all. I can draw a car. Loot, take two. See what we get. Knockout blow, huh? Draw again. Oh, bad. Bad, bad draw. Okay, so we're at two. Uh, if we attack here for... How much? How much can we attack here for? This is going to be four. That's 13. Oh, so close. Can we draw a card that does one extra damage? All right, it's 13 damage. Jesus. All right, draw a card. Go down to even lower. That's a land. All right, two now. Uh... GG. Terrible draws. All around. Come on. Where's my destroy evil? So much evil on the board. Eh. Happens. I mean, our deck was actually teched against their deck pretty well. Uh, the problem was the draws. I mean, that's usually the problem. But, yeah, that's... Nothing else to say about that. One goes first. Somehow, though, every time I try these decks out, I get horrendous hands like this. Like, how do you play a hand like this? You just can't. Alright, well, time to put back a beach, I guess. Shipwreck Marsh. Kind of means my knockout blow is going to be useless. Fun. I don't think Knockout Blow is a good card to put in your deck. Not because it's bad tech, uh, but Arena basically sees you have a Knockout Blow and they will not put you up against Mono Red. I've, I've played a lot of Arena now that I have no, I've come to notice that. As for Control, which means half the cards in the deck is pretty much useless now. Oh. That's interesting. Do you have no lands? You're just holding up a Counterspell? All right, well, if that's the case, you can counter this. It's fine. You do it. Play your make this appear. Oh, yeah. Good job. And then they draw their third land. That's just whenever you need it. I mean, can I even ice out anything with the bargain? No, right? That's the answer to that. No, I can't. Thirst? No thirst for you, please. Now you've done it. That's coming off. Let your blade do the talking. Would he discard a basic land? That might be his only land. That's probably the decision he's making right now. Do I discard my land number four or... Oh, no. One with... That's why he discarded? Jesus. Alright, well, I guess we've got to play a different kind of game. So... Gods, to me. Go for the throw. You got it. One mana. Can't kill the house shark. Five mana. Invasion. No invasion, please. Bargain. Well, I really needed that. I really needed something good there. Didn't get it, though. Show them how 
we greet our enemies. Okay. Gives a creature back, right? Two. So not a creature back yet. Is there any creatures in a graveyard? No, not in mine. Any creature in theirs? Not in theirs either. Probably getting back his invasion though. It's not a land, huh? That's not good. He gets him. No, oh, that fizzles. But then he brings back one with the multiverse and really, really hurts me. Alright, I, I guess this deck is just not going to work out that well. I uh, honestly, I mean, I don't know what else to say, right? It's just the draws that we've been having are horrendous. Yeah, you got it. Get your Kaya out and wreck my life. Or one with the multiverse and really wreck my life. There it is. Now play a card for free. Sunfall for free. I'm gonna kill my shark? Yeah. Kill my shark. You know, I could have done this first, but I, I didn't know it was gonna sunfall. Take up shield. Alright, that's exile, so. Now we get a vault. Can we deal 5 damage this turn? No. One short. Activate. Tezzeret. That's all. Both of those are kind of useless. This one's a little bit more useless. Strike fast and strike. Actually, no. Th this came into play this turn. Will this work? Let's find out. This, this will be an interesting exchange of play. Woo! Take that! Tezzeret for the win! Dark Coolio? Have you seen a cooler play than that? Yeah, I forgot. Tezzeret turns things into 4 force, even if they're already creatures. And my earlier damage really helped push through. So yeah, I mean, okay. Let's say the... Let's think about whether or not this deck actually works, shall we? Uh, it's... We have some horrendous draws, which is what I expect when I try to brew a deck. Uh, the shuffle does not know how to cheat against it, so it's just gonna give us the worst cards possible. Uh, and yeah. Uh, the, the whole combo with the deck is to get Tezzeret to get free Phyrexian tokens, but Tezzeret can also just uh, get make an artifact into a creature that's 4-4 it says target artifact becomes a creature if it isn't a vehicle it has power toughness 4-4 which are incubator tokens are zero zeros right even when they turn into creatures they're zero zeros uh so uh the fraction is zero zero it turns into a 4-4 plus all the counters on it just kind of like the cats and dogs combo i really love uh this will then makes it a really big creature to kill our opponents with it's kind of the idea that uh I originally had with the Tezzeret and Chrome Shark, but now with all the bargains, I feel like it can make it a little bit better. Collector's Vault, definitely MVP of the deck. A lot of times, this is what's helping us cycle and get that extra mana boost and then the extra card uh, quality that we need. And, you know, of course you can't have four off because then Mono Red will just kill you. Knockout Blow is an insanely good card if you're playing against Mono Red, but the fact that you're putting that in the deck means that you won't face Mono Red. So maybe cut two off, have two so that uh, you are de-incentivizing the Shuffler for giving you Mono Red, and then the rest could be for maybe, like, Spell Pierce? I don't know. Uh, some early game card that uh, could be still good late game, which is very hard to say, right? The, the best late game cards I have are these eight cards. The Wandering Emperor and then the Tezzeret. They combo so well with the Chrome Host Sea Shark. Uh, and that's how we can win games, and I do think that this deck has legs. Now, in, in, the, in the standard meta game, right? You have to play a lot of games to figure out if this deck is good or not, but I honestly think Tezzeret's ability to... The, the, uh, the zero, the, the, the passive ability is just so broken. Zero mana for Chrome Host Sea Shark's Incubator or zero mana for Collector's Vault that, that does every turn is insane. And then Tesla has that inevitability of the minus six. If your opponent doesn't do anything, every time you tap 
uh, uh, incubator every time you attack the collector's vault. Now you get card draw on top of that. Oh boy, that now that now we're talking, right? So I think if you want to go really greedy, you take two knockout blow out and put in two devious cover up, and then you show your opponent what's up, because that is what's up. Uh, against Mono Red, though, you're gonna suffer for that. Uh, but hopefully, you don't see Mono Red because you know the Shuffler will not put you against Mono Red if you have anti-red cards in your deck. That's my experience every time I play in Arena. And that's all I got for you today. It's a fun last game that really got the win under this deck's belt. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for joining me.